Welcome and thanks for visiting with us today at Wig Studio One. I'm Angela from Silver Linings, and today we're going to be taking a look at a timeless, ageless, short beachy wave wig. Her name is Sweetly Waved, right here, right now on Wig Studio One. Well, as you can see, I have my hair all ready to try on this wig. I thought that I would do that with you live today and also the unboxing. And But before I get into that, I did want to thank Wig Studio One for sending me this wig for review. If you head over to wigstudioone.com, you'll see a very comprehensive website where you can learn a lot about wigs, ask your questions, receive a call from a consultant. There's also a private Facebook group where you can register for free and take advantage of all the community over there. I'll drop all those links below for your convenience. So now, let's get on with the review of Hairdo's new Sweetly Waved. Going, so Sweetly Waved is going to come to you inside a sturdy, of course, cardboard box that they mail it in. And then you'll take this out of the box and so you're not going to have the usual cardboard box that you see back there, but it'll look like this. And just slip her out of her cardboard form. And we've got a brochure here, which, yes, care instructions, how to care for your wig, etc. And again, I always take a picture of how the wig was packed, and then I take that picture and I put it right inside the bag or the box with the wig so I always know how to store her. So I'm going to do that now. Alright, so I'm just removing the outside cardboard and she is secured by a couple of bobby pins and something fell on the floor, so one second. It's a wig cap. They also give you a wig cap inside the box, which is nice. You can't have too many wig caps. Alright, so now she's attached with bobby pins, those nice long bobby pins. Okay, and then you can see she's inside out. She's quite dark. She's got a lot of charcoal in her. And I feel some tissue paper. So right inside she's got a little ball of tissue paper, not too much. And she's inside of a hairnet. Okay. I am going to remove the tag don't remove the tag yourself unless you're going to keep her, but I am going to be keeping this wig, so I will remove this tag. The tag also has care instructions and also has the color and the name of the wig. Always keep that. You'll be surprised. After you get a collection of wigs, you forget what they are. All right, so ready? Without further ado, here we go. We're going to look at the color together. Shake, shake, shake. We don't know how long she's been in the box. It could have been quite some time. Now, again, you can shake her, but don't comb her unless you know you're going to keep her because you want to be able to get your money back for the wig. Um, but by and large, I know the moment that I put the wig on, whether I'm going to like her or not, I'm not going to say that that's true 100% of the time, but usually I can, I can tell. So here we go. So you're going to look for your ear tabs. The cap size is average. It's a traditional cap. She's got the Velcro stays. I always pull the stays out before I put it on because my head is average to large more on the large side. So I'm going to just pull those out. Let's take a quick look at the inside of the cap while we're here. She is an open wefted cap. See if I poke my finger right through. She's all open here for to keep you nice and cool. I am feeling some permatease up on the top underneath that uh, 
that material up there. It's not lace, but I do feel not tons of permatease, but there's going to be enough for some lift. She does have the tiny covered ear tabs. They're very small, but there is a metal stay there, so you can, you know, push that close to your head. She has an open nape, which I actually like. I don't like too much down at the, at the base of my neck. And that is, you could see, it's kind of open down there. And, and then she has the felt right at the hairline with the very, very nicely done realistic hairline attached to this piece right here. Okay, so that when you, if you push, if you push your hair back, well, you'll see when I put it on. Okay, again, without further ado, let's get this, let's get her on. Okay. So you're gonna look for your, you're gonna look for the label, you're gonna look for the ear tabs, you're gonna make sure that everything is pulled out, she's all, so that, you know, you can adjust her how you want. I want her to fit large. And then find your ear tabs on either side, put your thumbs there, and drop your head in like you're dropping your head into a bowl. Hold on to it. And then I've got my hair pulled back in a in a, a ponytail. I probably should have shown that to you. Oh, that's a nice look. What do you think? <laughs> okay. Hang in there with me. She ended up being okay. We can let's see what we've got here. So now she needs to be adjusted at the hairline. And I have a widow's peak. I always have to mention that. My widow's peak is right there. Let me see if I can give you a close up. Pan back out. Okay, so now she's on. Let me just push down the ear tabs. And then I'm going to, again, make sure she's on right there straight and then pull her down on the back. Okay, box. so what I'm going to do now, don't comb her unless you think you're going to keep her, but I know I'm keeping her. So I'm just going to get her off the root. I'd take a moment and let you see sweetly waved out in the wind. It's bitter cold in New York today at the time of this recording, so I didn't put her on my own head, but I did want to give you a look at her outside. Her color is very believable. Her fibers move very nicely in the wind. I think what I'm going to do is just spritz her with a little bit of water, wet my hands, take my ring off, and just zhuzh her. She feels very dry. She's not silky. This is not a silky wig. In a few minutes, I will be doing the specs for you. But you see what's starting to happen here? Those beachy waves are starting to come alive. You see that? Again, get some water in your hands. You're not going to hurt the wig if you spray it with water. And just get in there and, and zhuzh her up. I think that that's pretty. I think that that's pretty. Now let's get these bangs. All these fibers here, 
it's got box hair. You know, the fibers aren't laying the way that they're supposed to lay. It looks nothing like uh, the picture. I want to be fair to hairdo, and this this particular style, like I said, I think that she just needs to rest a while. I think she needs to come out of the uh, off the head on the, on the um, on the mannequin, and I may even wash it. Okay, so here's how she looks after I got done zhuzhing her and fixing her and applying uh, more water. I think that um, if you put her on a wig head overnight, um, maybe put a hat on her just to push down that permatease. Unless you really like a lot of permatease on the top, you probably would be more happy with her. The curl pattern is starting to form um, when I hit her with with the water so that's something that you could do now, affordable price point a hundred and I think it was a hundred and twenty five dollars head over to wig studio one so you could see her the latest price on this particular piece she is made with true to life heat friendly fibers what that means is that well of course you can wash her but you can also if you want her a little bit straighter up to 350 degrees you can use your cur curling device and either change the the pattern of the wave you know maybe you want this to to go a different way um but i think that she's nice just the way she is she does come in different colors here is how she looks on the model now you can see that the top on me looks a bit poofier, right, than it does on the model. And that's probably because it's fresh out of the box, the permatease is, is brand new, but that permatease will relax over time. Okay, so you can see the specifications here. Also, I don't have my glasses on, so now I'm squinting. Also, you can see... Um, the true to life heat friendly fibers uh, you can read all about them and there's the beautiful Raquel Welch and that is hairyouwear.com Raquel Welch wear care you could see the URL right up in here if you want to see this I'll, I'll drop a link for that below and then also you have care instructions over on this page how to wash how to style, make sure I'm in the frame. And, and there is the Wig Studio One site where you can see where right now she is retailing for $128.15. And you can read all about it there. And yeah, that's it. I will say one thing about the density. It is a lot of hair. This hair is not light, it's not silky, it's not feathery, it's dense and very, very dry. So you want to get yourself a bottle of water and squirt, squirt her, squirt her, squirt her. Because I found the more that I wet those fibers, then I was able to get that kind of a PC, wavy, beachy looking curl pattern. So, but she's not hot. She's only uh, 3.4 ounces. You can see her specifications here. The color that I have on my head is RL511 Sugar and Charcoal. So you can see that there really is a lot of charcoal in here. Uh, and the rest is light gray. She doesn't present as white at all. When I look in the mirror and when, when I'm looking in the monitor, I'm not seeing white. Again, before I leave, I want to say thank you to Wig Studio One for sending me this wig for review of Sweetly Waved by Hairdo and remind you and invite you to head over to Wig Studio One to do your wig shopping.
Thanks so much for watching. Thanks again for visiting Wig Studio One. If you like, give it a like. Hit the little bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. You see how this little piece right over here wants to stick out? I think if I washed it, and I would just let her dry. I wouldn't try to style her at all while she's drying. I just would let it dry and then come back maybe tomorrow and uh, I think I'll do another review of her tomorrow. But see this piece right here? So just in playing with her, just in these few minutes that I've been getting acquainted with this sweet style, and it is a sweet style, um, it's a lot different than when I first put her on my head.